What's up guys, welcome to a new episode of my vlog. Ibadiel here from uh, Alger. And believe me, the travel was not as fast as uh, the intro of this vlog. It was like really a, a nightmare to come here. I had to wait uh, two hours uh, in the airport because the organization didn't know that I was arriving at that time and they actually saw that I was arriving with uh, Aruna. So yeah, it was a little bit tough. And then also there, there were two hotels apparently and in, in, and in the prospectus. It was only one, uh, so they saw that I was in the hotel, but finally I was here. So yeah, a little bit tough to arrive, but uh, finally I'm, I'm here. So yes, I'm happy to be here for, the, for my second African Championship. Uh, it will be very tough uh, this time, especially that now Mehdi Bulusa is playing uh, for Algeria. And then of course, uh, Aruna, Omar, the Egyptian and Algerian players are here. And of course, few other contenders that are here also. But uh, yeah, we will see uh, how it goes. Uh, I'm here to show you actually my first vlog in uh, in African tournament. Uh, I will not speak as much as I do before, maybe it's for the best, but uh, yeah, I will try to focus a lot. The camera will be on, I will try to put the camera everywhere for you to see the African Championship from inside. So yes, now it's like 2 o'clock, I will rest a little bit and uh, I will uh, practice this morning with, uh, with Aruna and uh, I think I play my first match. Uh, tomorrow, but I'm still waiting for the draw to be out yet. So I will keep you in touch. Okay, let's go now. African Championship, let's go! So I start tonight against the winner of uh, Algerian player and uh, Ugandan player. Yeah, of course, this kind of uh, of uh, matches at the first is not very uh, always easy. I have to be very really careful, play seriously, have a feeling of the of the game, of the hole, adapt really quick, but not not do too much as well. Let's see how it will go. I will give my best and see. So the match will be at 6:30 tonight. I only have one match. So.
Alright guys, back in the room. We are making some recovery boots here. Uh, yes, the day was uh, was very chill today. Uh, only one match, and actually a tough match against uh, Belkadi from uh, Algeria. I won four two. So yeah, I had uh, I played in table one. The hole was very slow, uh, so I had to adapt uh, compared to the to the practice hall. Yes, I'm happy with the win and uh, tomorrow I will play against my uh, good friend um, Mehdi Boulousa from uh, Algeria. So very tough draw early on uh, in this African Championship. So yes, the African Championship is getting tougher and tougher now. So now I, I will just finish the boots, uh, maybe watch some Netflix uh, and then uh, yes, go to sleep ni nice and easy and uh, get ready for the tough match of tomorrow. So guys, second round today, um, I'm facing my good friend Mehdi Boulousa from uh, Algeria. Uh, first of all, Mehdi is uh, one very good friend of mine. We have been practicing together since, since I'm 12 uh, in the regional center. We've practiced together like four years and after recently uh, we practiced uh, two or three years in Halmstad. So I know him very well. Uh, he just he was representing France also and now he's representing Algeria. So yes, yeah, very uh, tough draw early on. Um, so it will be a very tough match. Mehdi is like, he's a very, uh, he has this modern game, like very compact, strong backhand, strong forehand, very powerful. The goal will be to change the rhythm. But again, he knows when I will serve long, he knows when I will change the rhythm. So I have to be very uh, unpredictable. Uh, but I also know what he likes. Uh, so yeah, I will try to play a lot uh, on his uh, middle because he's very, he's very compact. Uh, forehand and backhand, and when he's, he's in good distance, he's playing. He's playing. Yeah, he's he's very solid. So yes, very important match for both of us. There's a lot of pressure here uh, for him because he's playing uh, in, in front of his uh, home crowd, and also for me because this result is very important for me. Uh, but yes, we will see how it goes. I will give my um, absolute best, and uh, let's hope that I will uh, I will get the win. Hello? How are you? 
<clears throat> I'm not good. Yeah, I was, I was, um, I was nervous. I don't know, my service was shit. I don't have, I don't have any, I don't have any strong, strong uh, point or like this. I'm just. I can make five mistakes in forehand, five mistakes in backhand, five mistakes in flick. Uh, my service they are always like too long. Or, or there is nothing right. Like I'm so bad. I'm very bad. I'm so bad. I can't. I can't play really. I cannot. Seems like you don't really believe in yourself. Mm, no, I, I try, but but uh, I have I have always so much so ne so. So many negative thoughts all the all the time when I play. Uh, I don't think. I mean, I don't know. Uh, I'm thinking about so many things instead of uh, of the of the game. Um, and now because of this match, then my ranking will be like for sure below hundred, and it will be like so hard to climb to climb back again and to to make all the things I have done before and come back to for the Olympics just like land now I have I have nothing, you know. Everything's so complicated so all the time I feel like I go to tournament and I'm not ready to I'm not hundred percent ready to play. Like there is no yeah. tournament where I'm hundred hundred percent ready. That's why I didn't go to to African Cup and and I didn't go to Budapest and all this all these things because and it was same. It was same before in uh, in March, and I guess I just feel like I'm never ready to to play. So it's just like the situation is getting worse and worse and worse, and and I'm just invest. I'm just investing so much in my table tennis, and I feel like no, nothing, like nothing come out of it, and and this is the worst feeling ever. Like I don't know how much money I, I spent this this year. Like so much. I mean, you are very lucky. You are you are in Prague. You have a good salary. You're in a good practice place. You can you can become really good, and you can have a really good situation. And you can have a really good life where you are because you still love level tennis, no? Yeah, of course. It's just all the sh shit around it that is it's, that's killing me. My mind when I'm playing is just like it's just like all over the place. Beside, okay, try try to win, and I agree that I have to. To work on my mental health and and then uh, I and then I have to find a way to find some some sponsors or funding and like this. But the one thing is sure is that I will not happy until I qualify to Olympics. This is hundred percent sure. I know the situation sucks, but I really think you should just go home, not think about it for a while, practice, just live simple life, try to focus on how to develop and how to be happy, and things will come.